Oh! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I've been playing with an Iron Man 3 toy. Need some root beer. But anyway, yeah. Iron Man 3 toys. Get a good look at the figure. Okay, that's enough. Uh, yeah, Iron Man 3. What a letdown. Wow, I mean, just... Just wow. When I thought they couldn't make toys worse than Avengers, they pulled this? Wow. Just wow. Okay. The basics of this line can be summed up in one sentence. Gimmick, gimmick, gimmick for two-year-olds. And that's it. That, that's the one sentence I can use to describe this line. But then again, there are actually some positives about this line. For one, I actually do like the gimmick. But then again, I would trade it in a heartbeat for good articulation. It seems toy people forget that kids and collectors like good articulation. They just forgot it. I don't know why. They their butt cannon in the he back of the head or something. Anyway, the other thing I can actually defend about this line is the designs. Some of these designs are my favorite designs of the Iron Man franchise. The Iron Man 2 concept series came up with some of the best molds and really cool looking designs. However, this series has some very interesting, very cool, and very stylized designs. There's one figure that actually has saw blades for her hands, which is freaking awesome! And some other figures that aren't as good as the other figures we got in the past, but their designs make up for it and they look really cool. Which is why I've actually gotten into the line because I'm a big Iron Man fan and I really do like the designs of these figures. With that said, let's just get to the view. Play the play the awesome theme song. So now that we have the figure here, we can now take a closer look at it. And upon look, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, considering what we actually have gotten from the trailers, this looks pretty spot on. Now, mine does have some paint marks here and there, like on the chest here. But generally, it's pretty good. I mean, they painted the back of the figure. So that's in that little scruff right there. And um, generally, the paint's pretty good on these figures. Um, I like them. I like the paint. It, it's very accurate. Everything else about the toy kind of sucks. For one, this is the articulation you can use. That's, that, that's literally it. Like, you could do this, but, and this, but that's, that's really it. I mean, there's nothing you can do with this figure. Basically, it's a gimmick figure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the box, because the box is something I really like, and I do mean box. I mean, this is a full-on box. I like it. And this is a pretty cool box. Uh, move out the camera. You have Iron Man 3. We have the Hall of Armor display, which is pretty freaking awesome. I really like that. Then you have the name of the series. Assembles Interactive Armor System. And, yep, Mark 42, which I don't get. Is this the 42 version of the armor? Because this should be the Mark 9. I mean, did he build some extra armors between this? Um, kind of confusing. But anyway, on the back we have a picture of the figure. You do have to assemble the figure when you get it the alternate limbs you also have you can combine them with the war machine and when you collect all of them you can make over a hundred combinations on the side you have one and a pretty cool picture of the toy on the other side really nothing get the avengers some avengers initiative and uh yeah i do really like the box on these figures and you do get a bio <clears throat> this is the ultimate iron man armor Incorporating the best technology from dozens of the previous versions, it is also the foundation of the technology that all allows Iron Man to call upon companions from any of the powerful armors units in his vault. Uh, what basically this means is that in the trailer we see that he can basically control the armor with thought. He thinks and the armor pieces fly on and connect to him. And the second trailer was actually released, and we actually do see that he can control the other armors when he's outside of them. That's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, that is so cool. Anyway, uh, you can see that you can combine with War Machine, which is pretty cool. 
And, uh, yeah, I really like the boxes. I mean, if this was in Iron Man 2, that just would have made Iron Man 2 even more gorgeous of a line, but, hey. So, put that aside, and we can now talk about the figure in greater detail. The figure, like I said, looks cool, but its articulation is less to be desired. I, I will give it credit, it does fix a lot of the ball joint issues that I tend to have with figures. In fact, this is actually one of the worst ball joints on this line. This line has some fig Iron Man figures that have a gorgeous range of articulation in the ball joint. But, uh, yeah, it, it does what it needs to do. And the arms are the other problem, because they're ratchet, so they lock into certain positions. And what I've noticed is that uh, this figure is actually okay, the arm can go directly straight, but with some figures you tend to get it like this, or like this. And you can tell because your figure will have its arms perfectly to the side like this, while figures that can go perfectly straight actually have their arms slightly forward, or back. You can't get that happy medium with them. Uh, speaking of which, the arms are detachable, that's the whole gimmick of the line. In fact, with some of these, the there's a little piece of plastic right there that needs to be trimmed. Kind of focus right there. And you do need to cut that. Just get a razor blade, slice it through, and it will connect fine. Uh, the legs only move that this much up, so you can't even get them in the sitting pose. They actually move farther back for some reason. And um, these are a pain to switch and put on, because like I said, when you get the figure, it comes disassembled. Except for the head, the head's on the torso. But besides that, it's almost completely disassembled, and you have to basically build the figure. And the legs are the biggest part of it that's a pain. The arms go in no problem. As you can see, but uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I really like the uh, the silver detailing in there, in the shoulder right there. That looks very nice. Focus. Okay, I'll probably put a better picture of that right here. Anyway, now the main gimmick of the line is the interchangeable abilities, where you have alternate limbs, missile launchers that you could place all of the figure. The figure features multiple peg holes, such as one right here, here on the back, here, and here. You also have them on the feet, but they're a different size and apply just for stands. Now, um, this is pretty cool. So you can take the included missile launcher here, which will move the missile, and plug it on to the forearm. So you can have stuff like that, which is kind of cool. can work with certain armors. Some armors can't. But, uh, yeah. Also worth noting is that all of these missile launchers here use the Iron Man 2 missile launcher system. So any missile that uses this, even the Avenger figures, can be used with these missile launchers, which is pretty cool. That just adds the interchangeableness. So the arms are interesting. They have a nice mold to them, but they have no paint ups. They're just two different plastics. You have the red plastic for the arms, and then you have the gold plastic right here for the shoulder pads. And there are merit except this one has the peg here which i will explain uh it actually has some really nice molding i mean it has really nice molding it just needs some paint apps and for customizers see if i can get you see it better this is pretty cool i mean uh i want to try and get some paint to actually use to touch these up and i'll probably do an update video uh, i'm not going to use the paint i used for my custom iron man figure because that was a sharpie and over time it's not a good custom for paint but to touch it up, I might use some little Sharpie and then actually use some silver paint to finish it up. But these look really cool. Now, what I like to do is I like to pretend that these kind of go over these arms. And when these get damaged or he doesn't need the super strength or firepower, he just pops these off and they just go flying off. And then you have the normal arms under them. That's just something I like to pretend. Now, these arms do come off, as you can see. And they just peg on. Snap in place. It's a tight fit. I actually did drop this figure, and one of the arms went flying off. But, uh, yeah. It does, you know, ratchet, it, and it is one of those that actually goes all the way down, but you see, it's going down a little bit, and then, you know, it's just way too high. It's very hard to get that medium right there. Uh, these go out pretty well. A problem with some of the mo figures that, at least the ones I picked up with, due to the molding on the arms or the shoulder, they don't go up a lot. They would usually only go up this much. And if you put them on this figure, they actually go up a lot more. But this one has really no problems. You can get them up high. Uh, I actually do like the molding on the, these arms. They also do feature the pegs on the side of the forearm right here. Which is pretty cool. Now, what you're actually supposed to do is take the missile launcher. You see the uh, hole right there? You're supposed to actually peg it onto the hole right here. For shoulder cannon. And you just put the missile in there. Which is pretty cool. 
Uh, yeah. It looks a little goofy. I don't like it on the shoulder. I actually like it better on the arms. So, there you go. Pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just switch the arms real quick. I do worry over time that the connections will get weak and eventually break off and just be really damaged. That does worry me. I don't know how big of a problem that will be down the road, but it's something to bring up. Now, time to compare this to the last Iron Man figure we actually got, and this is the Avengers Iron Man, the second version with the double jointed knees. And you can see the review of this guy with a link somewhere on the screen. Anyway, so here is the figure. And you can see that he is just a little bit smaller than this guy. Let's see if we him back to back. But then again, this one actually has a design that's much more heavy built, more heavy duty, a lot thicker armor uh, design to compared to this guy. This guy seems more of the traditional Iron Man. So I do kind of see that. And uh, yeah, it's just a little smaller. You can see right there. And uh, yeah, this figure makes uh, the Avenger Iron Man a lot better in comparison. And then compare this dude to an Iron Man three, an Iron Man two figure, and you, there's no difference. It's there's no competition. It is night and day. There's so many differences in the figures. It would be ridiculous to point them all out. But uh, yeah, they finally made a figure of Iron Man that makes this Iron Man figure look good. It is a good figure, but I mean, I, I'm sorry, we just got spoiled with Iron Man two. Anyway, um, yeah. So there's your comparison. So my final thoughts on the figure is this. Collectors, just pick this one up. It's going to be the main armor in the movie. Now, from the second trailer, we do see that he will be able to control multiple armors. And if you want to pick those up because they're in the movie, I would actually heavily recommend doing that. Only because you see them in the movie. Then again, for us completists, this is going to be a pain in the butt because there's like 20, 20 new Iron Man armors. Yeah. Completists. Uh, going to be painful. But anyway... Yeah, just pick up the ones that are in the movie itself. And I really like the line only because of the designs. That's really why I'm picking them up. I mean, the figures look cool. They look really cool. Some of the designs and paint looks great on the figures. But when you take into consideration what we've gotten before, Avengers was better, which, you know, I don't really like Avengers at all. And Iron Man 2 was far and away better than this line. I mean, that's one of the best toy lines ever, in my opinion. So... Yeah, I recommend professional collectors and just average Iron Man fans to stay away from this line. Only buy this figure, although I would recommend picking up Iron Patriot and War Machine because they're in the movie, And but I'm not sure if War Machine has a different design. So, yeah, just be aware of that. And, uh, yeah, if you do like the designs like I do, and I love the designs of some of these figures, I mean, these are some of my favorite Iron Man designs then definitely get into this line just for the designs itself. But, if you're looking for a good figure with great articulation, just skip the line. And, as much as I do complain about the gimmick, it actually is a fun gimmick, being able to create your own Iron Man armors, but it just gets a little tiresome. Also, I would trade the gimmick for better articulation any day of the week. But, these are my opinions, and I would like to hear your opinions. So, please leave your opinions in the comment section below, and I will be reading them. Till then, adios.